Hi all. So today is a very interesting topic. It's a fix on how to fix an existing connection was forcibly closed by the remote host ASP.NET 6. Now here it's an ASP.NET 6 core solution that I was doing where I encountered this error and this was actually um, this creation was a work by one of my Udemy students who did uh, like this to bring this error and what I did so what happened is that you know uh, here instead of an HTTPS protocol he had put HTTP by typo or whatever reason because it should it is supposed to be HTTPS now this is a project which has got you know it's a solution having two projects one a web API as a backend server is being consumed by a um, MVC core project web API consume. So here if you look at the uh, results what happened is that uh, let me bring the screen. So if you click this it will pick this internal uh, this socket exception error and existing connection was forcibly closed by remote host. Okay so unable to read data from transport connection an existing connection was forcibly closed by the remote host. Now I am going to explain each and everything um, how the existing connection was made and why it was forcibly closed by this typo. So let's go back to the code. Now let's first remove this error and then I will start explaining. So if you click on uh, just uh, put the word S so it is becoming HTTPS. Now why this URL which is the web API URL being consumed by the HTTP client on the MVC project. Why it was, it is supposed to be this URL HTTPS colon backslash backslash localhost 44398 slash API slash customer because if you look into the code and um, look into the launch settings of this web API project, you will find that this is the application URL. Um, this is the SSL port. Okay, so it is listening on the SSL port for this at this port 44398 that is HTTPS protocol. So instead it was uh, wrongly typoed as HTTP. So if you save this and if you give a hot reload if everything goes all right then this project should run all right. So let's go back to the project again um, where it was yeah and uh, internal server error and let me uh, click this refresh button. So now it's everything is fine. So it is running without any error. Now let's try and see why this error happened and what was the source of this connection. Now this connection it is coming through the customer repository site where you know there is a um, SQL connection is being established with the connection string given connection string and connection is opened. Now when the connection is opened so that the proof that the connection was successfully opened was this screen that the API was running and um, before that um, this MVC application that is the client application it was making sure that the API project was running and then it would take this link click here to get the correct result correct views for the customer and order controllers. So once you let's analyze why it happened this um, transport protocol error or socket exception error happened is that you know if you go back to the customer controller and you see if you make this HTTP protocol so there is a mismatch of the security protocol on one side it was expecting HTTPS but you put HTTP so that error occurred and this is uh, again if you look into hot reloading this error will reappear okay so if you click over here again the same error will occur now to prove what I am saying and I have looked into stack overflow and there are two important um, conclusions reached by previous experts and existing connection was forcibly closed by the remote host. So what I am saying that 
the first point that this gentleman has put um, is you are sending malformed data to the application which could include sending an HTTPS request to an HTTP server. In our case, although it was sending an HTTP um, request to an HTTPS server as we have seen, which is further uh, confirmed in Microsoft or document themselves, so which says that it looks into the probable reasons for an existing connection was forcibly closed by the remote host. So when do you see this error? So there are many scenarios. In fact, they have discussed about four scenarios, but let us see the first scenario, which says that no matching TLS pro protocols exist between the client and the server. So there is transport layer security was on the HTTPS that was the launch URL for the web API, although it was being called faultily by the HTTP on the uh, client side. So that was the reason of this uh, error. Now, if you wish to see again, so if you just click and hot reload, the server error is going to appear once more. Uh, let's see where it was. So if I just click it again so the exception reappears and to get rid of the exception once again if you click on save and hot reload and then come back to this error and then refresh it uh, it's still appearing um, okay so I didn't change this okay so change this to HTTPS protocol save it and then hot reload and this uh, error is gone. So here we have learned an important lesson while doing an ASP.NET Core debugging. So this error might occur, the source could be many other ways, but this is one of the common errors, a common sources that needs to be tackled to get rid of this error. Okay. Thanks for listening. And if you have liked my video, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Thank you.